I think, well, actually a grandfather of mine when I was eight or nine years old, this, I told my parents, you know, you should get her some art lessons. So I studied with a gentleman in Daytona Beach, Florida, uh, who had a big group of kids. And um, I studied with him till I went away to college. And uh, that's when I discovered that I could do some artwork. Oh, well, I love the Impressionists and, you know, their use of color and how you're, you let your eye do all of the putting together of what the color was from the different ones that they put together. I love that. And I uh, have, over the years, have done with palette knife or other things, I would do that kind of painting. But uh, uh, as time went on, I just sort of went my own way. <laughs> Oh my goodness, well, I like to get back out into the countryside, into the woods where, you know, not too much development. It's still the natural Florida I grew up knowing, and that's a long time ago. It was pretty natural back about 86 years ago, and, and it, um, it's changed a lot. We've lost a lot of it, so we, Bob and I go out, my husband and I go out, to places then when he had a hunting camp where I could find those areas that were pristine and still natural and that's what I love. Well, this painting, there are a couple of things that are interesting about it, but first, uh, one of our sons took us on a little river cruise on the St. John's River and this is a little area off of the St. John's River that's called Tick Island Creek. And I took some pictures along the way just as one does, but particularly with an eye to looking for toward what I would like to paint. And I don't have access to the St. John's that much, so this was special. So that's what that is. But the other interesting thing about this painting, besides the location, is the fact that it's a watercolor. It is no glazing on it in glass or plexi. It's on canvas. And it's a canvas that's, of course, especially treated for watercolor. But it's relatively new. I'm not even sure that the watercolor societies are accepting it as uh, for shows. I haven't checked that out yet. But I like it because it's it gives me a chance to well, to not have to deal with the heavy duty framing with the glass and the mat and everything. And you spray it with a fixative when you're done. And there it is. <laughs> oh my, I'm overwhelmed. It would be a modest statement for it. Overwhelmed, it's, it's beyond. The first thing I thought of is all the people I think deserve it more than I do. And then just the gratitude toward the fact that my son was so persistent to put me where someone made that decision. <laughs>